Thanks for watching guys. I hope you'll like, subscribe, please share the channel with your friends and turn your notifications on. Hey World of Tanks players and welcome back with Hachiman bringing you today the most important position on fjords. Uh, you can see I'm in my FE4202 in a tier 9 game and I'm platooned with Thermo in the 59 Patton. Now Thermo is going to take the standard medium tank move which is head up that route. Especially medium tanks with good gun depression. Uh, there's some hills and bridges they can work. But I am going to do something a little different. Uh, and when I, what I'm talking about is this spot right up here which was opened up several updates ago and just the reason I'm making this move is when I looked at the enemy team I saw there's one light tank, a Batchat 12T which I was fairly certain that I could handle if I needed to because my FE4202 armor is pretty good for a medium tank especially when it's hauled down and in terms of medium tanks you know the Centurion 1 is a pretty even match uh, Leopard PTA certainly could have made a try for it and T-54 could have as well but I was willing to take a gamble that neither of those tanks were going to head for this spot uh, so I made the push and I went straight for it and I just did not stop. This is a commanding position on the battlefield and absolutely must be taken. And you can see the Leopard PTA is here and so is the Batch at 12T, but they both hesitated and didn't make the push. And now they're really not going to make the push because I've been spotted taking the position. There's an ISU 152 over there. I don't really want to get hit by him, but I want to keep him, keep an eye on him. I can also pin his armor pretty easily with a defense shot. I lock on, take the shot, and he takes off almost half my hit points with one shot. I did get one into him, but that was obviously not worth it. And then, holy crap, here comes a 50 TP. But I'm already starting to get a little bit of spotting damage. 50 TP is coming out. He's looking at me. I pound his side, and I back off. And he's taking damage, and I'm getting half of his damage, at least, for spotting. Alright, he's not looking at me. Come out and pot shot him. He takes another hit. I don't know what the heck he's doing, and I don't care. He's not looking at me. Put another one into him, and he's dead. This position spots that middle. Bounced off the Taurus's hatch. Ooh, and he can actually hit me in that spot, which surprised me. But I bounce off his hatch again. And I'm paying attention to the Oho in the background. The tortoise isn't really looking at me anymore. He kind of is deciding he has other problems. He's turned to his side. Turned his side to me, I should say. So now I can pound right through the hatch from the side. He's backing up. I just need to be careful. Take a hit from Artie. I go ahead and see that I've got a long, long stun in front of me, so I go ahead and heal the crew. And there goes the tortoise. Now my hit points, I'm almost out of hit points. I've, I've not been playing very safely at this point, but I have already managed more hit points and damage than my tank can take. And I've got some spotting to my name as well. See that bat chat? I move up, put one into him, and back off. There's the T-54. Now, while I was playing around with that tortoise, one into the rear of the T-54, my guys up in the north pushed through, including my platoon mate who's now dead. Put one in, and because they pushed through, that leopard and T-54 have taken these positions, which allows me to shoot right at him. I bounce one, I think, from the leopard. And I can punish them in this position because I'm only giving up my turret and their odds of pinning my turret are not very good without firing premium. IS-6B gets the Leopard PTA. I lock onto the T-54, pound through his side. I, I can lock on with this gun. This gun is very accurate and has very good penetration. When I've got the sides of medium tanks, I do not have to worry about aiming. T-54 misses and I pound one through him and the server finishes them off. 3,354 damage, 1,463 spotting, and then there's a defender right there. Now, that's a nasty tank. It's one of the OP heavy tanks, frankly. He's hauled down. I have no prayer of penning him in any way, shape, or form. So, I'm just going to kind of hold this spot. 
artillery splashed him. I got a little damage from that. A little spotting damage, I should say. I'm trying to pick that defender up, but I just can't seem to find him. There he is. Though I didn't get the spot for it. Alright. So we've cleared the field, but the enemy heavy tanks have pushed around the southern horn, taking out all of our heavies. And then I got my buddy dealing with a no-ho right here. I'm going up to the top, and instead decide to back off, fire one, pen the oho. And I'll aim this one a little more closely. That oho has to be going. How is this guy just blowing through my front? The oho's turret, if you can hit it just above or below the gun on that flat spot, you can pen it with a tier 8 tank without much trouble. I'm going to go for another one. That shot missed. It hit the edge of the rock, but the oho's backed around the corner. So I want to continue back up because I need to re pick up those tanks. Ooh, I lost the STI that was pushing the OHO. That's unfortunate. I need to pick up those tanks, and there they are. That's a tough nut to crack. I really don't want to shoot at him if I can avoid it. However, that ISU or that Lurva, I'll gladly shoot at. Hmm. Spotted. Question is, is anyone really looking at me? Doesn't look like it. Oh, poorly aimed shot. But I'm getting spotting damage. Put that one through the lower plate. Put that one through. And this one... Oh, he's dead. Alright. Two enemy tanks left. Both heavy tanks. I'm up to 2,012 spotting damage. 4244 actual damage. I want to help this guy against the Lurva, though he probably doesn't need my help. So I'm going to very gingerly... Yeah, the Lurva's done for. I'm just hoping to steal a kill now. Nope. Alright, so we'll come on down. Gently. And let's see if we can steal a little damage on this IS-6. No. Alright, just like that, game's over. Seven minute long match. Let's take a look at post game stats. So, post game stats is an ace, ace tanker, no surprise there, with a Confederate medal and a Spartan, as well as a couple smaller awards like Spotter and Fire for Effect, of course. Um, on the next page, you'll see first on the team, I mean, 1,485 base XP, making this an ace tanker by far for the FV-4202. Uh, and in terms of the individual stats, 25 shots fired with 24 hits, 19 pens. But you see the great accuracy of that FV-4202's gun, and uh, with a 4,244 total damage, a profit of 146,000 credits on a standard account with a credit reserve running. Now, if I'd had a premium, I'd have made over 200,000. Or look at it from the standpoint of without a credit reserve, I'd have only made 95,000 credits. So a substantial profit and almost no premium. In fact, I don't think I fired one premium round. Um, but you see the commanding position that that is on the map. I had multiple fields of fire, multiple ways of spotting enemy tanks. Uh, I could fire to the south at the heavies. I could fire across the middle. I could fire all over the north. And it just... It's a position that someone on your team absolutely has to take. There's just no question about it. And I took it, and you see the result. Anyway, guys, I really hope you enjoyed watching the video. I can't wait to see your comments below. Please like, subscribe, please share this channel. I'm, a, I'm an above average player, and this channel's for average players or below average or above average who just want to learn how to get better because we can't play the way super unicums do we just we just don't do it but this old this channel is meant to help us get better thanks a lot for watching guys we'll see you around